Have you ever heard of go big or go home? Well, I decided to what? Go big, 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 big. I just got big everywhere. We're talking about fashion jewelry. And this segment talks about how to wear fashion jewelry, to be creative, to to show it off, show it off. You, you, have you ever heard somebody say, oh, she's just a show off? Yeah, girl, show it off. Go big or what? Go home. So I am featuring the bling, 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 bling today. And I hope that it helps you with your bling because sometimes you can have bling and not know what should I do with it? So, okay, this is my technique. I started with, hmm, I have some bling. This is what I did, y'all. I have some bling bracelets, <gasps> but it's actually two bracelets. So I decided to put the two bracelets together to make one seamless, beautiful piece. Now, I have worn these pieces separately when I wear all black and it looks like it's a part of my top or a part of my dress. And people are like, oh, where did you get that from, girl? It's just two pieces that I put together to make it seem like it's one piece or either uh, keep it as that two pieces to make it seem like that is part of the dress or part of the top that you have. And, and I have on just a simple girl. I went and found me a what? A pinky ring. Bling to the bling, 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 bling. Is that cute or what? It's simple. It says what I wanted to say. It's enough to make a statement. And then as I was still looking, I said, whoa, hold on a second. I remember that I went to what? Puerto Rico. So I broke out my blinged out watch from Puerto Rico. So cute is bold face. It gives the look that I'm looking for. And I wasn't even done. Went to my jewelry collection and found out that I had the big, the bow, and what? The beautiful big hoop bling. Go big or what? Go home. And I finished it off with a very beautiful necklace. It complements my neckline. It brings all of the pieces together. And you say, well, first lady, why did you start with your wrist? Because most people start right here and they go here, they go here. What you need to do when you go to your jewelry collection is to see, okay, what do I have maybe with regards to a bracelet or a ring or a watch and work your, work, work your way backwards and then say, okay, now, because I want to wear these items, what earrings and what necklace do I have to actually complement what I want to wear? And you will be pleasantly surprised as the thing at the things that are in your jewelry collection that you had tucked away and say I'm not going to wear that girl pull it out you might you know have to spread it all out in your closet on the floor or wherever your space is and see what you actually have because when I went through all of this stuff I'm like girl what? Some things you forget you have. And so anyway, I'm so glad you came to Eve's closet looking at techniques about how to wear your fashion jewelry because it's an important piece of your wardrobe that you don't want to forget about because sometimes we forget that we have beautiful pieces that we have laid aside and said hmm oh my grandma gave that to me girl pull out your grandma's stuff that's why she gave it to you she wants you to look as beautiful as she did when she wore her fashion jewelry i've been trying to figure out what kind of jewelry should I wear with my outfits? You may have been shopping and saying, this has been a very challenging thing to do. And what? Men don't understand it. No, they don't. Because what? Most of the time, they have very simple things. It's maybe a bracelet, a ring, and maybe a necklace, maybe. But nowadays, men have actually jewelry options, which is awesome. So back to us ladies, we have a very challenging time trying to figure out 
what kind of jewelry are we going to accessorize with our cute outfit? So I am here today to help you. It really depends on if the outfit is dressy, if it's sporty, if it's uh, something that you're just going to lounge around in and maybe you're going to the mall. It really depends on what you're doing, where you're going. And like I said before, girl, who you going with? Mm -hmm. So you think about all those different types of things when you're selecting which jewelry piece to match with your outfit because you don't want to have an overkill. I mean, your outfit is really cute and then you put on something that's just really gaudy and people will be like, well, what's she going with that on? So that's not what you want. You want to look your best. You want to have a real premium look. And so it makes people take what a second look like, girl, where'd she get that from? That's what you want. You want people to take a second look. I am wearing a not so much blinged out, but blinged choker. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So I have on a black bling choker with chain links as well as a little bit of bling in the earring. I'll zoom in so you can see there. And then the chain links, the tiny chain links, it complements the thick chain link in the uh, necklace, the choker overall. So it gives it a really finesse look. It's really nice. You can actually wear this with jeans. You could wear it with all black as I'm featuring it here today. Whatever you want to do with it, you can as long as it works. So I'm going to continue to give you some good fashion techniques with regards to jewelry and I hope you enjoy it. Fashion jewelry is the number one seller with regards to jewelry because most of the time it's what? Inexpensive. And so when you're thinking about what am I gonna wear with this outfit? And while you're out shopping, think about, should I get a piece that looks like this or maybe a piece that looks like that? Or maybe a piece that looks like what I'm wearing today, which is Swartzky crystals. It's beautiful. It's blingy. It gives you a uh, texture. It has many different colors. You can wear it many different ways. Today, I am featuring Swartzky crystals in gold. I want to start with the earrings. The earrings are very unique. They're very simple, little circles, and it just gives you enough to say, that's a really nice piece. And then I have on a complimenting necklace. Take a look at the necklace. It's simple. It, it has a statement about, um, I am going somewhere and I don't have to overdo it. Sometimes as women, we overdo it. We have a whole entourage of things on at the same time. So you want to model your piece by just having on one piece at a time. Now, there are multi layers to necklaces and bracelets and uh, hoops and things like that. But when you put on too much, it clashes and it takes away the overall goal of the necklace or the bracelet or the um, earrings that you're trying to portray. And so I have on a blinged out watch that complements the crystals and the texture in the necklace that I'm wearing, along with, of course, my wedding band that just so happens to match that. Now, you can swatch, uh, switch out any kind of jewelry that you want. You can switch out the rings, the necklace, the bracelets, the earrings, and that list just goes on. And so when you're shopping with your friends and you're out and you're saying, girl, I think I'm about to go into this jewelry store. Look, let me tell y'all about my sister. I went to Chicago for her birthday. For her birthday, right? Uh-huh. I went to Chicago for her birthday. She said, okay, Ev, I'm going to just go in this store. Her and her friend, Tony, I know you remember, girl. Uh -huh. And so she said, I'm going to go in here. And we in Chicago, up north, where they have jewelry store after jewelry store after jewelry store. She says, I'm going to just be in here for a little bit. We were there, what? For two hours at a jewelry store. So, so what I'm saying is jewelry matters. What you put it with, it matters. And so I hope that you have fun when you're out shopping for your next piece. Silver collection. We are moving on to what? Our silver collection in our fashion jewelry segment. 
I want to talk about silver just for a moment. Silver complements almost anything, even white, yellow, and of course black, and even tan. And some people think tan, tan and silver, tan and silver, that it works. So when you're thinking about your silver pieces and saying, oh, I'll put it to the side because it doesn't really match, it doesn't go, silver will complement almost any color. Think about that the next time you're looking at all of the silver that you don't know what to do with. Girl, wear it. Wear it because it will match with almost anything. Today, I am featuring silver and my staple color is black for this segment of fashion jewelry. And so I want to talk about silver just for a moment. Silver comes in many different shapes and it comes in clusters and uh simple pieces you know when you go to the jewelry store you're just like oh i like that silver but mm, i like that one too and you're like which one should i get get them both if they're on sale and you have what a coupon and so anyway it's really a a, a thing about silver is that you have to know how to wear it and you can complement clusters with simple pieces all at the same time and get a wonderful look. So I am featuring simple hoop earrings. Just really, really simple, simple hoop earrings. And I'm wearing it with a clustered necklace. I'll zoom in just for a moment so that you could see. It complements uh, the earrings very nicely. I don't have to worry about, mm, is it, this gonna match? This is the point of this segment because silver clusters and simple will complement each other. So think about some of the things, what do I have in my jewelry collection? Oh yeah, I have that piece. And then try it, you know, put the look on and see if it works for you. If it does not work for you, then don't do it because be you, you want to always be comfortable when you leave the house. If you're not comfortable, don't wear it. And if you are, girl, show your thing, show your thing, do your thing, bling, bling, ting, ting. However you want to do that, do it. Because what? We're women. And sometimes we don't really explore the full woman that we are because we're looking at images. We're looking at this and we're thinking about what did my grandma wear? Some of the stuff your grandma wear or it's back in fashion, child. I want y'all to check that out. The 60s is back. Some of the stuff from the 50s is back. And definitely the 70s is back. Some of y'all grandma's probably not uh, born in the 70s, but so maybe. But anyway, think about what you have in your uh, jewelry collection as far as silver is concerned. And I'm featuring another cluster. I'm featuring a clustered ring. And I have it intentionally on my forefinger because sometimes we think, oh, we have to wear things on our ring finger. Yes, thank God for ring fingers in marriage and it's all wonderful. But, you know, you can wear uh, things on your thumb, rings on your thumb and your forefinger, your middle finger, your pinky. I haven't found a pinky ring yet, but when I find one, girl, I'm going to wear it. Pinky fingers, the rings are small and hard to come by, but I'm going to be looking for me one. So. What I'm saying is when you're thinking about silver, think about it in a different way. Most of the time people think about diamonds and pearls and we'll do fine jewelry uh, in another segment, but this segment we're talking about fashion jewelry. They think about those uh, fine jewelry and they think about, oh, maybe I can't wear that with this. No, you can wear what works for you. And then finally, I am featuring a big face watch with bling and then chains around it and also uh, the clasp and it just gives a nice little look for fashion jewelry so you have the clusters and the simple all at the same time you bring the pieces together and they work so what i'm trying to tell you is girl work what's in your closet i want you to work it work it work it and make sure that you like what you got on i am featuring pearl you're probably saying first lady where do you get all of this stuff all of this jewelry well, like I said, I shop in different places. Whenever I travel, I go into different stores. It may not be a store initially that you would usually shop at, you know, your loyalty store, but it might be a store that has some pieces in there that complements what you have already. So the next time you're out shopping and you're thinking about, should I go in that store? Let me tell y'all something. 
Sometimes I go in the youth teenage store. The youth, yes, first lady, I sure do. I go in the youth teenage store because what? They're the ones that trendy. They tell us about what to wear. First lady, that really don't look good. Tell us what not to wear. Or first lady, that is on. That is beautiful. That is happening. I know I'm like old school. I'm saying happening. They probably got some other terms. I don't know what they use right, right about up through here. They probably, since we've been quarantined, came up with some new stuff. Somebody came into the restaurant the other day. They was like, look, I learned a new dance. And I was like, oh, what is all that? Anyway, what I'm saying is the young people, they keep you trendy. So the next time when you're out and you're trying to figure out what am I going to do? What am I going to wear? Go into a store that you wouldn't usually shop in and you might find a piece that complements what you're wearing. I'm talking about pearl fashion jewelry. It is a wonderful statement and pearls generally you wear with them uh, wear something that you're going to dress up in and you you put your pearl earrings and necklace and a bracelet and all of some of y'all even may have ankle bracelets. Y'all remember ankle bracelets? They coming back in. I'm not going to feature one of those today, but I'm just saying, think about all of the jewelry pieces, toe rings, toe rings. Girl, if you got some pretty toes, get you some toe rings. Anyway, I'm not going to feature that today either. But what I'm saying is think about your whole body. And then some of us even wear crowns and just all kind of jewelry, fashion jewelry accessories that makes us feel good, that makes us feel great. And that's the point. You have to wear what makes you feel great. If you don't feel great, don't wear it and pass it on to somebody else. It might make them feel feel great. So I'm talking about pearls today. I want to start with the earrings. They are sweeping earrings from the earlobe all the way down to the shoulder. Look at that. It's just a wonderful piece and they have their own individual uh, links, each one of them, and it makes the uh, earring very very beautiful with the circles sweeping there in the middle it just gives that oh those are absolutely gorgeous and so when you think about jewelry think outside of the box not your normal mundane everything everyday thing that you do think about getting something different that's what i had to do again these young people they keep you young and trendy and so i had to go shopping with them one day and they're like first lady you should try this and I'm like hmm let me go ahead and try this and I liked it so there might be some pieces that you may not uh think that you'll like but you'll like so I have tiered uh each one of them are are individual tiered pearl necklaces one two three like I said you can drape them as you like you can wear a single one but today I decided to feature one that drapes and I'm also featuring a really nice pearl ring. It's beautiful along with the matching bracelet. It just gives the complement of the entire uh, jewelry, fashion jewelry collection and statement that I'm trying to make today. And so again, I have it featured with all black and you can wear pearl with any um, kind of outfit that you want to wear it with as long as it matches. And so I just want to let you know today that pearl is in. So the next time you're in the store, think about getting some pearl and make sure that it is a compliment to what you like and not what other people think that you should wear.